the Indian Air Force has finalized the deal of 83 Tejas fighter jet. Under the deal, HAL will be delivering 73 Tejas MK-1A and 10 Tejas MK-1 aircrafts to Indian Air Force by 2026. However many of us will not be aware of the how much different the Tejas MK-1A is going to be when compared to Tejas MK-1 Fock variant. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's video we are going to discuss the enhancements and upgrades planned in Tejas MK-1A variant. The light combat aircraft LCA Tejas is a 4.5 generation single seat multi role fighter aircraft designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center, ARDC, of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. The Air Force's requirements for the Tejas were to develop an all-weather supersonic LCA which could replace the aging fleets of MiG-21. Its main objective is to fight for air supremacy and to offer short-range support. While Tejas Mk-1 is a potent fighter in its class, the Indian Air Force was looking for few more enhancements to make it more lethal. The Tejas Mk-1 lacks an electronic warfare capabilities, performance shortcomings of radar warning receiver or missile approach warning system, limited internal fuel capacity, non-compliance of fuel system protection, inadequate forward-facing pilot protection, and performance shortfalls due to underpowered engine. While HAL is busy in developing the Tejas Mk-2 variant which will be a medium-weight fighter, the Tejas Mk-1A will serve as the stopgap arrangement and can be rolled out faster than Mk-2. Talking about Tejas Mk-1A, a total of 43 improvements have been planned over Tejas Mk-1. Indigenization Tejas Mk-1A will have more indigenous component than Mk-1. Tejas Mk-1 has 58% level of indigenization. With the involvement of local partners, Tejas Mk-1A is planned to have indigenization up to 65%. Radar Tejas Mk-1A will have improved ASA radar. The Tejas Mk-1 is integrated with Israel's Ulta L-M2032 multimode fire control radar. The first 20 units of Tejas Mk-1A will have the Israel Zilta ELM 2052. 21st unit onwards, Tejas Mk-1A will have indigenously built Atamasa radar with a range of 180 to 200 km along with LPI, low probability to intercept. The radar will have integrated transponder which will be able to differentiate between friend and foe. Self-Protection Jammer The Tejas Mk-1A will carry the ELL 8222 SPJ, Self-Protection Jammer, pod on its external hardpoint to jam enemies' radar-guided missiles. ELL 8222 SPJ is also carried by the Su-30 Mki for self-protection. Weapons the Tejas Mk-1A will have new and more advanced weapons. For short-range air combat, the Tejas Mk-1A will carry the MPDA ASRAM missile against the Russian R-73 missile in Tejas Mk-1. MPDA ASRAM or AIM-132 is one of the two deadliest missiles in the world for close air combat. It has a high off-bore shoot capability as well as maneuverability up to 50G. Any missile with 50G load handling capability is said to have a kill probability of greater than 95%. The Seeker of Isram has a full sphere envelope which enables it to see in a wider area with its imaging infrared seeker. In the beyond visual range, the Mk-1A will be equipped with indigenously developed Astra Mk-1 BBR missile with bidirectional communication to avoid enemy jamming. The aircraft will also be able to use the Israeli Iker BER missile with 100 km range. 
network-centric capabilities. Considering the futuristic air combat, the Tejas MK-1A will have capabilities to communicate across various assets of the military on land and on air through BNIT SDR's software-defined radios. SDRs will provide Tejas with data coming through various channels which will be fused together to give the pilot all the information he or she needs to optimally perform the mission. Usually these channels are either AVs or AWACS platforms in the air but can also be other fighter jets. This is an extraordinarily powerful leap in terms of technology. Radar Warning Receiver RWR Another major improvement will be the incorporation of a multi-channel digital receiver based RWR which will be able to instantaneously track and identify the target aircraft. It will alert the pilot if a radar coming missile is approaching or if the aircraft is under radar lock by the enemy. The RWR is integrated with the radar and the jammer. If an M-wave hits the aircraft, the RWR will give a warning to the pilot and the self-protection jammer will automatically get activated and try to jam the enemy's radar. Helmet Mounted Display System HMDS the HMDS in MK-1A will be fully operational in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground mode. The HMDS eliminates the use and need of the HUD head-up display. Software and Computing Power The Tejas MK-1A will feature a revamped Digital Flight Control Computer DFCC. While the current DFCC is based on the 386 series processor, the new DFCC will feature PowerPC-based computing architecture, this dramatically improves computing performance. While the MK1 required 24 physical connectors, the MK1A version would be a press-fit mechanism drastically reducing maintenance overhead. The same will be used in the MK2 version. Maintenance Aircraft's maintainability has been improved many-fold. Many LRU's line replaceable units will be repositioned and new LRU's are to be included too, keeping in mind the maintainability easiness. Indian Air Force wants airframe panels that can be replaced without taking too much time and these will be supplied to the Indian Air Force with quick release fasteners. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views and opinions about the same. Do like, share and subscribe our channel.